Hello traders, welcome back to the Bullish Bay FX Academy. So basically guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about the trend line strategy. Before we even get into this video, please guys, do me a favor by hitting the like button, turning on the notification bell and subscribing to this YouTube channel. And please guys, do not forget to comment in the comment section what you think about this video at the end of the video. So without more further ado, let's just get into the video. So yesterday I actually took a trade on step index after I was using the trend line strategy because I was backtesting it for a while now and I saw that it's now good to be shared with you guys. So let me just do a quick market breakdown and then from there we can start analyzing and I can start teaching you guys step by step how to use this trend line strategy. Okay, so now let me show you guys. So this is actually on the daily time frame when I saw step index and it didn't move with that blue candle that you're seeing. I'll put a screenshot right here before I even caught this trade. So I'll go down to the one hour time frame. So he, right here, you'd see that, okay, we were ranging. Let me go back to the four hour time frame. So here you see that we're moving in, a, in an ascending market and then... I didn't look very far. Remember, guys, in my previous videos, I always tell you guys to look left. So when I tell you guys to look left, meaning you have to look at the way at the correction or where the market stopped. So right here, so right here, you see that we had a red candle. This is our red candle, and then I just had to take out my horizontal line and place it there, and then the market rejected here. And then this blue, this this green candle formed. That's when I saw that. Okay, cool. Right now we are gonna be looking for buys because the market rejected here, and this was a corrective phase. Remember, guys, in my previous video, I also told you guys that after we have an impact, we have a correction, and then after we have a correction, we're gonna have an impulse. So you saw that we impulse, impulse to the upside, and then we corrected the downside, and then. We impact to the upside okay so that's not enough for you to actually get a trade or to get a winning setup but what is enough what do add to it you need to have a market structure like i had here you can see that okay we're having a, a correction corrective phase and then here another corrective phase how did i get that using the trend line strategy which i'm gonna be teaching you guys okay this is just a, a market breakdown that i'm doing with you guys a trade a trade breakdown to show you guys what i'm actually talking about so right now let's go down to the one hour time frame way where i actually took the trade so on the one hour remember i always tell you guys that you should use pending orders or stop orders on the one hour i waited for this green candle to close and then when the green candle closed somewhere about here that's when i took my buy till here and then the market actually the market corrected and then i managed the trade so so tight but i'll also show you guys the profit that i banked here but i would not show everything just show you guys a screenshot that i really really took the trade and the, i took the trade when the when, when price was at 81 71.9 and maybe that will also be visible so let me mark it off where i actually took the trade right here in this area yeah that's where i took the trade let's go down to the 15 minute time frame so we see how i actually got taken out of this trade look when i took the trade here when i took the trade here and then the market uh moved somewhere about here at this week i locked in at the at the at, the, at this week okay remember i told you guys lock in where at the week and then when i locked in at the week it came down just with this hammer and then it took me out and then it went to the upside till where it is today what which i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually take this trade and i'm gonna be showing you guys if our bias on this pair changed or we're still gonna be looking for buys so right now remember i always tell you guys for top down analysis you need to go down the daily time frame so let me go down the daily time frame and then let me clear off all, everything that i've drawn in so let me just delete all these so after you you clear off your your chart and then you you now come to a clean chart okay clean chart meaning there is no trend line there is no horizontal line there is no rectangle there is nothing just a clean chart that you are looking at and you are looking for a trade uh, idea you're looking for a trade setup so you can now take a trade and grow your account and make money on and withdraw okay <laughs> so that's what we actually do when we come to the charts that's what we think about okay so now you have the charts okay now you are looking at where should i start remember 
higher time frame always and zoom out so you can see the key levels right now we are at the daily time frame so what am i going to do i'll spot my highs and my lows which is my support and my resistance so my resistant level is here my resistant level is here but in this scenario let's just use a red angle my resistant level is here very 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 strong area where market can turn from let's make this one red let's make it red okay now that we've made it red okay now we are gonna clone it and put it as our sub is is our support level as well because our support level has been so strong so now you can see that hmm, we have what a support and a resistant level forget about this this price action here sorry forget about this this strong highs this this ones forget about them we are looking in between in this range because when the market comes up it goes down when it comes down it goes up when it's up it comes down when it's down it goes up just like then we have been playing in this cycle for long and you cannot determine when it will break but you need to be cautious meaning if you are in, if you are in, if you are in profit you need to lock in so now i will zoom out and then see that i mean i'll zoom in and then see that oh it's moving up uh, impulsively now this is where the trend line strategy comes in you need to identify your trends you need you know for your area to be valid it must have a minimum of three touches so now to draw in your trend line it also needs three touches so let's see if we can get a three uh, our three touches here okay so we have our three touches there at the top okay we have our three touches just to make it more accurate let's just put it here make sure you're not leaving anything out every every point should touch accurately and then we we'll, we'll, now what we want to do is that we have to clone it again and then you'd see that oh okay this is our first so we have at the top we have one two three and then below we have one two three so we have three touches up we have three touches down so what actually happened is that the market didn't respect this area why because here we have a really strong support area now that you have this what you have to do is because you saw that oh we are this this red uh, support is, is a strong area so you can just delete it and then you can just add this just just a, a, a small one here small one and then what can you see a chart pattern that is formed what type of chart pattern is formed a double bottom so you all know that when we have a double bottom what are we going to be looking for we're going to be looking for buys and if you look left it's supposed to be a triple bottom but it didn't just commit really really well so you can see that here we have one and two which was a double bottom and then it went up remember guys in forex the market repeats itself so what if it came down went up came down and then it's gonna repeat itself and the, the double bottom can't end here and it can't end here because this can be the neckline and then where, is, where are we gonna end we're gonna end at these areas that i told you guys to ignore for now because we're on the higher time frame here then the double bottom will make sense at this area and at this area and at the top so right now let's go down to the daily i mean to the lower time frame which is a four hour time frame and then let's see our let's let's take out our trend line as well looking that now we are looking for further buys what am i gonna do you have to take out your trend line as well to now plot out your corrective phases so here is a corrective phase and then clone again the trend line yes so remember the principle that i told you guys after an impulse what do you have next so now this is where you see you ask yourself this question pause this video and ask yourself after an impulse what do we have next this is where you see that 
you are actually keeping track on the learning curve or you are just watching for the sake of watching and you're not growing I, do, I my goal is to improve you guys and to see you guys succeed so after impulse what are you what do you have okay welcome back guys after posting this video i hope you guys really really stood committed to yourself so after an impulse you would obviously have a correction okay a correction is something that's not moving impulsively so what we have impulse this thing moved correctively nice i mean impulsively in a correct form nicely there was no red red candles like this and then it started moving correctively so a, a, an, an impulse is is when price moves in one direction shooting up with momentum without stopping and just starting to like move zigzag but just moving in one corrective phase and a correction is when the market starts moving like in a zigzag form it's not pushing down it's not pushing up it's just like going sideways to the downside that's a correction okay so right now remember this is a live chart we are gonna be doing like a live trading so right now you can see that we have a correction and a trend line guys is for spotting out your corrections if something is corrective you can use a trend line like here you can see that this one is corrective and then the impulse one we can use um, a rectangle and a horizontal line just to block the market to block the area that this is where the market can come turn from remember guys i'm not telling you guys that if you want to block the market you can just Take out your red angle or your horizontal line and put it here and then the market you block the market and the market will come down no that's just our analysis we think that the market can come stop here so we are just trying to block out with our analysis okay so right now you zoom out and then say oh where is where where am i looking to exiting the market here let's take profit here okay this one Will, it, will this be our, our, our first take profit? No. Why? Because the market has hit it and then failed to come down. It came down in a corrective phase but didn't go up in an impulsive phase. That your trade setup to going to this resistant level can only be invalid if the market pushes down with momentum. But if it hits a resistant level and starts a resistant or support level and starts moving correctively going to the downside or to the upside and does not move down with with momentum then your trade setup is still valid why because the market is creating is creating a correction phase to get momentum to push to the upside okay so an example to that is here the market came down impulsively hit that support level and then went up you see with momentum again this is just vice versa so this is just vice versa of what's happening here the market came let me zoom in so you guys can see what i'm talking about on a clear scale zoom in the market came down impulse and then impulse to the upside and then corrected and then impulse again so here again we are going impulse look impulse correction impulse so the correction that you would have matters the most are we having a bullish bullish flag or a bearish flag in this scenario we are actually having a bullish flag okay so look at this bull and then this is a flag and then another bull to go to the upside so now well, this is the four hour time frame and then we we'll go down to the one hour time frame to see this is where you need to pay close attention to what's happening on the charts. How many touches does your trend line have? We have one, two, three to the down, one, two, and then three at the top. So right now, you need to say that, okay, cool. The, is the market committing to the buys or is the market committing to the sales? The market is committing to the sales. Okay why should i take sales in a mark in a trending market that's going to the upside i mean we are having a bullish flag i'm talking about what's happening now and what's not going to happen in the future so right now you need to put your mind in thinking what's going to happen in the future so how do you do that you need to look at current market price you can see that currently the market is having we are having um a resistant rejection which is this one 
We rejected at the third touch. One, two, three. If you count accurately, we are at the top and we are rejecting. So should you take sales already? No. Why? Because you didn't even confirm, confirm from the lower time frame. Go down to the five minute time frame. What do you see? Remember after impulse, we have a correction. After a correction, we have an impulse. Take out again your trend line and try to spot the correction. Because I told you guys that trend lines are used to spot corrective phases of the market. With a, with a red angle, you can't spot a corrective phase unless you box everything. And that won't be accurate. And with a trend line, you can't spot an impulse, impulse price. So you can see it. If you look at this, you see that, hmm, what is this? It's a bearish flag on a small lower scale okay impulse correction impulse on the downside okay but does this does this flag carry more weight like if you go down to the one minute time frame will it look the same if you go down to the higher time frame will it look the same or will it show you by higher time frame always decides for us it's showing us sales but the higher time frame shows us buys five minute time frame again so are we going to be taking the buys or are we going to be taking the sales? Where are we? Remember, at, at my trade, at this trade here in the corner, remember what I saw. Ooh, I, was, I just looked left at that market footprint and I took buys. And then the market buy, bought till we, where it is right now. Let's see. See where we stopped? Support. We stopped at the at, at the, like a support level. Okay? Trend line again. You need your trend line to spot market structure. We moved. We moved. In a correction here. We moved in a correction and then what happened next we had a impulse so the way you look at um the correct them um, the, the flags matters the most that's what i told you guys you should know if you're having a rising wedge a falling wedge a bullish flag a bearish flag here we had this impulse correction impulse followed correction by looking for impulse to follow Okay, so what do you do if you want to take this trade? What you need to do is just you need to swipe and then come to this thing that looks like a clock. Put it here and then press sell stop and then press stop loss. And then you can put it there and then you can just take a market order. That's just how you can do it. Put it here below where the market stopped before. Put your stop loss there. Press. And then you can place the trade. That's how, just how you can do You didn't place the trade actually. But what you did is that you had a pending order. Remember guys, in my previous video, I taught you guys about a pending order. And I'm going to be speaking about this. Guys, if you didn't watch the previous videos, please guys, do yourself a favor. By going back and watching all the videos, taking notes, just looking at everything that has happened in the previous videos. That's how you know. Because the smallest things that I will mention here, you will not know how to do them, and then that will lead to your failure in Forex. So do yourself a favor by watching the previous video and then come rewatch this video. Because some of you guys that are beginners, you still do not know what's a pending order, how to go about it, how to use it, and what how it operates. So, But in my previous videos, I've mentioned all that. So please, guys, go take a look at the previous videos, and then you can still come rewatch these videos. I mean, these videos are going to be here for months and months and years and years to come. So... You won't miss anything. Again, now we are going back to the, to the video. What do you have here? You know, impulse, correction, impulse to the upside. Remember the higher time frame was showing us buys and then on the lower time frame you placed your sell stop. So do you, what do you do? You see, you are on the safe side. You didn't take a trade order at once. So what you can do, you can set a, um, a buy stop. How do you set a buy stop? You come again. Let's say we place it above. Put a buy stop. Come and place your, 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 your sell stop there. Place. You see? Here is your buy stop. Look. 
Here is your buy stop. So I'm not I'm not teaching you guys to actually go into trade this way. What do I mean by I'm not teaching you guys to go into trade this way? You know, there are some people that can do this thing that I'm doing here on their live accounts and then they blow. How do you blow your live accounts? Mainly if you're trading prop firms, please guys, be cautious with this with these things. But volatility pairs, you can use it, but I'm not advising you to go and use it because this is actually called hedging and I'm not teaching anybody to to trade um the hedging strategy but i'm teaching you guys to just getting a perfect direction like i got this perfect direction on step index this buy what is that that i'm saying somebody can go out there and go do this okay this this will be their their okay let me put it here how can i make this example okay above above this this level above this 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 level is your buy stop and then your sell stop I'm, i'll make it red let's say you are looking for the market if it comes back you have your buy or let's make it red you have your sell stop so somebody would say the market is here if it goes up you'll be in a buy okay it's correct you make money the market will go to the upside and that time yeah let's say you place the stop the, um, the stop orders before before your bedtime and then you'd sleep the market will, will come take you in here buy stop you're in profit by that time you're sleeping and then the market will reject the and then the market will start coming down again you do not know how to use a sell stop and i just showed you guys and i didn't explain but in the other videos i explained and then the market comes down and then you didn't set your stop loss and everything the market goes a little bit higher, comes in and takes you in. And then right now, what's actually happening is that you are in, in, in two trades. You are hedging right now, unknowingly. Meaning you are in a buy, this this sell buy stop turned into a buy trade, this sell stop turned into a, in, to a sell trade. And then you are in both a, a buy and a sell. And then the market will come down. By the time it will come down, this buy trade, it's in, a, it's in complete negative. You are losing and this can can result to the 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 sell stop remember you took this one first and this one second remember this one has maybe let's say if the broker you're using has swaps you are being charged for swaps and commissions and then the market is gonna go down to the downside and then let's say you have a um a 20 dollars us dollar account and then the buy the buy stop turns into negative let's say negative 15 dollars and then it the, the your broker will just close like there also does that when your margin level falls below 89 percent or 91 percent or something and then you are your trade gets closed and then this sell stop is just operating with a five dollar so you are running in profit let's say your profit currently that's running is let me say you are uh your profit is another five dollar then your equity is ten dollar and then when the market does this you lose everything and then your account blows and remember guys synthetic pairs are really really fast okay they are really really fast so you should you guys should pay attention to that and then look at the way the market is again right now the market is committing to the the market is committing to the impulse correction impulse going to the downside and then yeah that's just how you can use a trend line strategy i'll be dropping part two if you guys like this video comment and subscribe and any lesson that you want me to teach you guys i'll do that Thank you for watching guys. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell and comment below. Keep winning traders.